Kosinachi Sibisi misses the chance to face his former side. He was sent off on Wednesday in his place. But only just that many times. Labito is the other, and Tabiso, you already mentioned him, will open it up going forward. But for Swat, for Eros, yes, Zuke, who has played as a midfield. But despite suffering nine successive defeats before Compella's arrival, there are only four points. Back in time to help defensively. Now Mofo King, finding Mabasa, who's offside. Acres of space ahead, I think, for Mabasa. And uh, should you say... Away very cheaply here. And an opportunity on his own, though. Kahisomali. Makaula. Oh, spills it as Mungwana. And then crashed home on the follow-up by Tsekovasa Mabasa. Well, he's loving life upon his return to Orlando Pirates. And he puts them ahead. Probably one of the easiest goals that he's been able to score, Mabasa. This, of course, came from the weakness of the goalkeeper. He tries to hold on to the ball, and we spoke about the conditions. This one's the players are going to think twice about dealing with any ball that comes to them, the goalkeeper in particular, because you don't even second bite. It's a decent shot initially from Cabello, if I'm not mistaken. Goalkeeper fires it to the side, but um, it's my Kaule. Yeah, and you never really see him getting into no. the 18-yard area. The high press. Mulungwane should have known better for a goalkeeper of his experience. I think this mistake there, he didn't try, he tried. Double up here, ball over the top for Mufa King is good. Mulungwane off his line. Away to uh, Orlando Pirates, an entirely different prospect. Here's the chance that Mufa King was not able to convert only moments earlier, William. And uh, he's always finds himself unmarked in front of the crowd of players in front oh, of him. Oh, look at this. Mufa King's off, onside and rounds the keeper. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Orlando Pirates in a flash are two up. They're ripping arrows to pieces. High line this time around was uh, Eros' problem. If the player on the ball is not high pressed, you can't be on the front foot. They were caught on the front foot and it takes a bit longer to turn and make a run for the chase if you don't underpace the long pass. Brilliantly played a few minutes earlier from team and it didn't happen. This time around, quality from the youngster. Very composed, I think, was what happened. He looked along the line brilliantly to ensure that he remained on side. And how about that, William? I mean, when he took Azuke with the other 10, I thought, oh, don't do that. Don't test faith here. Yes, Galaxy. Now Masangani in pursuit of this ball over the top. Has Mufo King in the middle. Oh! Lovely point blank save from Lunguana. It's a good touch from Mufo King to divert it towards goal and can't turn it past the big frame of Lunguana. That's what I'm talking about, but my Sangani. This would have been another street assist. For me, it's the moments that he finds himself. There's great understanding from the Pirates players to be able to release the ball at such a... Of the ball. Now Maswangani has it for Orlando Pirates. Mufu King. Still. Breaks here for Dlamini. Slots it away for three. <laughs> Orlando Pirates tearing away from Levant for Golden Arrows. As easy as you like for Dlamini. Converts cleverly his first of the season. Here is the surprise for you. And in previous games where parts have lost or maybe even drawn, let me just refer to the last two games. It's, it's not because they've played badly. It's because they're not uh, finishing well. But uh, for Eros, it's the, it's the mistakes 
that we've seen just so many of the times uh, uh, when they're defending. They give away ball position in those uh, critical areas and the defensive line is not able to recover. And once again, if you have the quality of Lamini, Mabasa and uh, Masangayani. Mufu came to Tim. Back to the youngster. Masangani just can't bring it under his control. And now goes down under the challenge from Lungwana. Yep, had to be penalty pirates. You can try and look it in every way or angle. Mulungwane should have known better. If the player in front of you is a little bit ahead, they're going to just nick that ball ahead and then you're going to be found wanting where you're forced to maybe collect the, the, the legs, which will result easily into a penalty. Masongani initially fails to get control of the ball. Mm. The ball is going away, Mulungwane. Uh, they have converted all four of them previously and it won't be fucky as it usually is. It's Sekofasa Mabasa. Looking to add to his tally as he hunts the golden boot and he's been denied by Mlungwana. Well, at 4 0, you would have felt like there's absolutely no way back for Lamont for Golden Arrows. And as it is, it's still an absolute mountain to climb. But 3 0 down at least, at least seems like it's in some way achievable to get something out of this game. And Mungwana, who's already seen the ball flash past behind for Libito squares for Mabasa. Rolls home his second of the match. Pirates for Le Montville, Golden Arrows, nil. Yeah, you're talking about Grace. He's got Fred, that is got Grace. He's, 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 he's done it in great fashion. For me, it's how he attacked that uh, line, that six yard box there. Which is where I think Eros have found himself. If anybody breaks on the white area, it's more likely to turn that ball into the inside of the box. So you try to mend that error, but the speed with which Paris did it might have been the problem for Eros to be able to recover. Going for Look at that combination again. Now an opportunity for Tlamini to bag his second. And he's ever so close to squeezing that. Oh, Miguel Tim knocks it over the top. Oh! Oh! What a goal that would have been. Whew. But then, here's the other question. Had some... Shitolo got a touch on that, but it lands with Mufu King again. Oh, he's hit the uprights. He's looking to double up today. He just nodded in the right direction. Yeah. He bounced off the line into goals. Well, there's only two league goals that have previously come for Chipper United, but he did score a very famous one for Pirates in the Cup. Yeah, yeah, to take a variety of uh, the set piece, of course, uh, from one of the Pirates. Uh, that once Blumwan uh, tried to come out, and then as he tried to, well, he realized that the ball is too... Go! Oh! It'll be a mere consolation. But Lamont for Golden Arrows do manage to pull one back it's a really neat finish in the end that flies past Mpunsani Gusen. yeah he's a goal scorer of note eh? he, he doesn't is. get too many chances to start but when he does somehow moves ahead of Kuduza Sabia as Mabasa immediately restores the five goal advantage and that's his hat trick Amazing, amazing. That's, you know what, we've seen flashes of uh, Mabasa's quality every now and then, but sometimes it goes on a dry spell, whereby we start doubting just whether it's there or just a flash. But this type of runs, I mean, when you do them consist consistently as uh, he does, and just that he keeps getting the better of the defense, ahead of everybody, and just the neat finish or neat touch, just tap it to the back of the net. We'll still see this. Abasa, one more time, perhaps. Kim Vuidi! It's in! It's seven! Orlando Pirates have recorded a remarkable scoreline here.
at the sacred ground. They have truly put Slamonville Golden Arrows to the sword. And Kim Buidi with his second Pirates goal and his second against Slamonville Golden Arrows. After a very slow entry into the game, after being brought in, in fact, if anything, he was giving ball position away like in so many different occasions. I'm sure this will be Mulungan's biggest or worst. Orlando Pirates get the better. Get the better is an understatement.